Welcome to Policy on Demand's Week in Review. I'm Dave Camp. What would you tell clients are your takeaways from this week? Well, the key takeaway this week is we have finally seen the proposal on business tax relief and the child tax credit. And it pretty much has followed along the uh, framework that we had discussed earlier that there's sort of parity between child tax credit and the business tax provisions. Uh, and it's expected that we'll see the legislative details uh, later. So we have a sense of the broader package and it does include the R&D expensing as well as bonus depreciation and really helping with the interest limitation. Which question related to policy did you get asked the most and how did you respond? Well, the policy question I got the most was what exactly is in the tax bill? And so while we know the broader outlines of it, we actually have some detail there are still some other provisions that we might uh, have included in the bill. And so I know companies are very interested in what exactly is in the bill. So it's expected that we'll see that framework uh, very shortly and could be as early as this week. Where should companies focus their attention in the coming week? Well, companies really need to focus on what we've been saying all along. And I think in almost every uh, filming that it's been said that companies need to build relationships, they need to go to those uh, policymakers and make their cases known. Well, this is where that really, this is the crunch time. This is where those relationships that have been built really matter. And it's important to have those policymakers go to their leadership, both in the House and Senate, and say how important these provisions are to growing jobs, growing companies, and helping families. Looking for a tax policy guide for 2024? PwC's Tax Policy Outlook is here. Get your copy today and register for the January 17th webcast through this QR code to hear from our policy team about tax legislation, regulations, the economy, Pillar 2, and more.